and the fretted power chord, starting with the six string notes. All right, for you beginners out there, we learned the E5 power chord. And that was just the using one finger. All right, you're playing the six string open, so that's no fingers. And you're going to take the index finger on the fifth string second fret. Play those together. That's an E5 power chord. You can move that up but you're gonna to have to use two fingers now. So that's open, the next fret is the first fret. So if you put your index finger on the first fret, and on the fifth string, you're gonna put your ring finger on the third fret. Now you have an F5. Up one more fret is an F sharp five. Up one more fret, here's another G5. A G sharp A flat five on the fourth fret and then A on the 5th fret. And you can keep going. It just follows the musical alphabet all the way up the neck. An extended version of that, if you recall, we, we played the 6th string open, 5th string 2nd fret with the 4th string 2nd fret. To play that uh, as an F5, you can bar, you, you got the index finger on the F note, the 6th string 1st fret, you can bar the 3rd fret of the 5th and 4th string, or if you need help with that, if they're not ringing out properly, you could put your pinky finger on the 4th string 3rd fret. Now if you move that whole structure up 1 fret, so now your index is on the 2nd, ring is on the 4th, pinky is on the 4th. That's an F sharp 5 power chord. One more fret to three, five, and five, and you've got G5. Four, six, and six, and you have A flat five, or G sharp five. Five, seven, and seven, that's an A5. For the fifth string movable power chords, You've got your A5, whether you're playing this version or this version. Move everything up one fret. So now you're going to have to fret the first fret, which is B flat. You're going to fret the uh, fourth string third fret with the ring finger, and then the third string third fret with the pinky. All right, so that's your B flat 5. It's also can be refer referred to as an A sharp 5. The two notes are enharmonic. They have two different names, but they are the same chords. So we got the open A5, B flat 5. Up one more fret to 2, 4, and 4 on the 5th, 4th, and 3rd string. 2, 4, 4, you've got the B5. Up one more fret to 3, 5, 5, and you have C5. Up to 4, 6, 6, you have C sharp 5, also known as D flat 5. Up one more fret, you've got uh, 5, 7, 7, and that is the D5. And now the fourth string power chords, movable chords. Of course, you've got the D5. And you move everything up one fret. Instead of playing the fourth string open, now you put your first finger on the fourth string first fret. And you put your ring finger on the third string third fret. And that is an E flat 5, also known as a D sharp 5. So D5, E flat 5. Up one more fret to 2 and 4. And you've got an E5. Up one more fret to 3 and 5, you've got an F5. Up one more fret to 4 and 6, you've got F sharp 5. One more fret to 5 and 7, you have a G5. And that's just using two notes. If we want to do the extended, okay, now, if you recall, the D5, you had the 4th string open, 3rd string 2nd fret with the 2nd string 3rd fret. So now what you'll have to do is play the E flat, which is the fourth string first fret, 
and then the B flat note on the third string third fret, and then the octave E flat on the second string fourth fret. D5, E flat 5, up one fret to fourth string second, third string fourth, second string fifth, and you've got an E5. Up one more fret, F5, up one more fret, F sharp 5, up one more fret, G5. And then we also learned that open G5 chord, right? So here, what you're going to do to move that up, you're just going to go ahead and apply uh, a bar chord to the fourth and third strings. First fret, that would be a G sharp or an A flat. Second fret would be an A5. Next in the musical alphabet is B flat. Next up, C. C sharp, D. E flat, E. And then, of course, we had the extended G5. So it was the fourth and third string open, along with the third fret of the second string. So to make that a power chord, a movable power chord, you're going to bar the first frets of four and three and add your pinky to the second string fourth fret. And that's a G sharp or an A flat. Up one more fret and you've got A5. One more fret and you've got B flat 5. B5. C5. 